Hello, lovely lemons, and welcome back to another amazing island tour. I am so excited to share this tour with you guys today. This is by the lovely Sparker Crossing on Instagram, and this is a fairy island with a backstory. So stay tuned because I'm going to be sharing the backstory with you guys at whatever point I think is appropriate within the tour. So make sure that you give Sparker Crossing a follow on Instagram. Make sure that you like this video and subscribe to my channel if you like island tours like this. We just had Umi's Island, which was super happy and fun. Today we've got this island and the next island tour we have coming up. We have two more on kind of the backlog that are coming up very soon, as soon as I get my butt in gear to do them. So anyways, without further ado, let's look at the, actually, let's look at the map before we go into this island because we're going to see some pink, we're going to see some beautiful, and we're going to hear some story. So we've got Sam the creator with the pink hair. We've got Pudge. We've got Gail. Oh, Pudge is central to the story, by the way. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. I can't wait to read you the story. Gail, Tad, Peanut, Judy, Puddles, Muffy, Renee, Cookie, and Tasha. All right. Let's see the beautifulness. Oh, the pink. Oh, the pink. I love all the pink. I love the festival flags here. And I love the festival balloon lamps. All of the dropped white roses. Super pretty. I think my mermaid princess dress is appropriate. Ooh, the symmetry. Look at the custom designs of the flowers on the waterfalls. I really quite like that. Ooh, so many details of the custom design, the pink flowers on the ground there. Ooh, it's very floral, very floral indeed. All right, I'm gonna go, oh, there's presents. Oh, I didn't even see them when I came in on my cot there. I still didn't get it like a real bed on my island, LOL. All right, well, I'm gonna pick all these up. I'm gonna check back in with you after I open them all up. Okay, so it looks like you can either be something kind of like dark or something kind of like happy and bright. Ooh, what about mage's dress? Oh, I want the mage's dress and the striped hat. Yeah, yeah. And then what, antique boots? Or what other, what other power boots? Or mage, oh, mage's booties, mage's booties. I love it. And then I want the dreamy it. Does that is that gonna go? Is that gonna go? Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, so pink and purple, pink and purple. I love the pink and purple mums. Sorry, I'm moving the camera around a lot because I just want to make sure that I don't miss anything. The symmetry though. Oh my goodness, you guys. These pergolas look amazing. So I'm a witch. I'm a witch. Yes. Is it Halloween yet? Gosh, is it October yet? Seriously. Seriously. Look at these custom designs of the little boardwalks and then like it looks like a flower petal, fallen flower petal kind of path. So, so pretty. Okay, we've got like a little wedding area on the beach. Gotta love the wedding items in that pink and that blue. Do I see a villager or the creator? I see a villager. Villager. Ooh, I'm totally stealing these codes. Look at these shells. I am totally stealing these codes. Whoa, I love these. Love a fountain. There's a lot of detail with the custom designs for reels. This is a wonderful wedding area. I love it. Oh, who's going to get married over here? Oh, and you can actually watch the ceremony. This is so beautiful pastel bright pink that's a beautiful custom code for the fence thingy what is it called what is it called i don't remember what they're called anyways oh and we have a little tea shop oh yes oh this this tea set is really pretty in pink i never see it in that color what do we have here some is this potion and some accessories, a little witch's shop, if you will. Lots of crescent moon in pink and blue. Love it. Okay, I'm gonna come back around this way because there's a lot more yet to see over this way. 
love these bunny items. So much symmetry. I am, my eyes are so very happy from that. Oh, there's even more pergolas. Oh my gosh, and look at the peach trees. Oh, peach trees look great on pink fairy islands for sure. Adorable. Okay, I'm, I'm stuck already, but this is like beautiful. So let's just take a photo while I'm stuck and then we'll get unstuck somehow. Some way or another. If only we could still have the star fragment trees. If only, because then that would be so cool. Okay, I got unlost. And here we are on a little... Oh, is this a little plant shop? The gyroid is working. The work in the plant shop there. Adorable. That's a cute little tiny plant shop. I love that. Oh, and we have nice little waterfall. This waterfall area is really nice to look out onto. I bet you we're going to get an even better view from this land bridge right here. Holy shamolies. We're taking a lot of, we're taking a lot of photos today. Oh, this ramp is symmetrical. Oh, this is sweet. Okay, let's handheld camera. Let's handheld camera this. Oh yeah. Gotta do that on the land bridge. Look at how cool. Oh, and it ramps up. I am so excited by land bridges. Y'all don't even know. Obsessed. And we see, is this the museum? <gasps> wow. Oh, I'm going to cry. I really like it. I really, 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 really like all this. We're going to go see it again from regular perspective because the waterscaping on this land bridge is just freaking bomb, man. Dude, I love it. I love it. Okay, let's go see the museum. And I see a little like clothing shop down there. That is so cute. Okay, look at the museum. Big epic castle. Lots of confetti machines. I am loving that. Absolutely loving it. Ooh, what do we have over here? Oh, some kind of magic area. I love the display case with the Kiki and Lala wand. That is so cool. All right, I think that some of these things are like allusions to, not illusions, allusions to like the storyline. So we're going to have to find like when is a good point to tell you guys the story. But look at the path down below. Look at this like lookout spot. Dude, this island is blowing my mind. It's really good. Okay, let's gonna go up the, let's go up, let's gonna go up. Wow, she cannot talk. Let's go this way. Oh, we have a little throne with a festive ball stage. Oh, the queen is going to have some cake, I see. That's interesting. I love it. I love it. And then we have what? Another? It's a very symmetrical island. Wow, wow, wow. Another walkway. Very cool. The water is just so nice to look out onto. And it's a nice big thick river. Like it might even be like the original river yet. So we're going to go down the ramp to the other side here. Oh, these dresses. This must be Able Sisters. Oh, and it is so properly covered with the castle items and the storefronts on the side. I like the mixture of the castle and the storefronts. These dresses are beautiful. Yes, I will buy everything. Thank you very much. Adorableness. Oh my goodness. And this is another like cute little bridge area right here that looks awesome that little little like steps the little beginning of the custom code i don't know if you know what I'm, you know what i'm talking about this thing right here that looks awesome anyways we can sit here at the fountain and look out oh the star fragments yeah because there aren't pink star fragments but these ones i think they're the cancer fragments they do really work. They do really fit, though. Yes, and the pink crescent moon chairs. Yeah, I guess they're, they're kind of red. They're kind of pink. They're kind of in between. Depends.
depends on what other items are around. And there's resident services. Let's see what Nook's cranny looks like. Ooh, this is cool too. I never see this item, this shopping. I didn't know you could customize that. That looks really cool. Yes, and the floor lights. Yes, and we're open. I love the we're open sign. Wow, all of the pink. This looks like an extension. Oh, this is part of the shopping district. This is a cute little shop with a medieval wall side. Looks like a little coffee shop or a little bakery or something outside of the nook's cranny here on the beach. Oh my gosh, I love these umbrella codes. There are so many good umbrella codes on this island. Oh my goodness, and come get your dessert. And more fountain on the beach is a good idea. Yes, and rocking chair. The symmetry though. I absolutely love the symmetry though. There's so many spots on this, on this island that you can take amazing photos at. Ooh, this is so pretty. And there's like a little building in the back here too. I love these ornament table lamps. I gotta use those. Those are cute. Oh, another little flower area. And they're just placed little flowers. So cute. Okay, you can't go anywhere in that way. I think we're coming up on like a dark section. I think I'm about to blend in better. Oh, I get it. I'm supposed to wear the fairy outfit in the fairy part of the island. And the witch outfit in the witch part of the island. Oh, what a change. <gasps> this is so cool. Okay, I'm going to read you this story now. All right. <clears throat> Here we, I'm going to sit. I'm going to sit in this amazing little spot. Dude, this is so cool. I love the stark contrast of like, bam, you're in like a dark, spooky area. Okay, so. Once upon a time, all fairies lived happily in unison, but as time went on, some fairies desired power above all else. Thus, they created a spell to be in power for 1,000 years. But in order to do so, they took the magic of everyone else and erased their memories. Nearing the end of that 1,000 years, one powerless fairy began to get memories back. Pudge. Oh, so all of the villagers are fairies? He tried to spread the word, but only a few believed him, and one betrayed him to gain power herself in the coming 1,000 year ritual. This time, they used their power to curse Pudge and all that followed him to the haunted forest. We must be in the haunted forest, and henceforth be known as evil witches. But what they could not have foretold was the kindness of the spirits in that forest who gave the witches power so they could seek knowledge to defeat the fairies. They now search other realms in hopes they can find the magic they need in time for the next ritual. But will they succeed in time? Oh my gosh, this is so cool. So like the pink area is like actually evil and this magic in like haunted forest has like the searching of the powers or something i think i understood it correctly but look at it it's so cool oh my gosh what a cool story i love people's island lore stories i love these little like this overgrown moment with these mushrooms little mushroom gardens oh and these codes on the ground and now we experience the pergolas in the different customizations this is so cool i'm i hope you can tell how like genuinely excited i am because i love spooky stuff i've been watching all those tiktoks of like it's july and people have decorated their house for halloween already and i am for it i need to join that train actually i'm about to break out my halloween decorations like right now right now let me get some green in here. Ooh, what is this building though? Is this like a like a spooky dress shop for witches? This is so cool. With the black gazebos. Oh my yes, it must be. It must be like the clothing store because it's got the sewing kit, the makeup pouch. What's on this beach? Oh, the darkness. Oh, the darkness. I love this. The crescent moons, blue and purple, and pink and blue on the other part of the island. Here's 
that's this is why we have like Muffy and Gale. Look at this pier. Yes, I will go stargazing here. Thank you very much. I need to take a photo. And oh, and the black rose bed. Okay, we're taking a photo on the black rose bed though. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Check it out. And some green. This is witchy, magical amazingness right here. Oh, some pops of red. Look at these umbrella codes. I don't even know what this is. I think it's like a little fairy mushroom house. Is that what that is? Yes, it must be. Look at how adorable that is. So maybe some of the fairies are tiny. And then, oh yes, there's a lot of them. Ooh, what is this? And you can lay in this little spot. I don't know what this is, but look at the cube lights. They're customized to match the ground. This looks so amazing. Oh my goodness. I need to zoom out so you can see the little holes that like show the sand and then the drop star fragment. And then like the little, are those jellyfish? I don't know what they are, but they look so cool. Super, super cool. Okay. And now we have like a fairy magic circle. What? This is so exciting. And a, and a broom. You can ride the witch's broom. Oh my gosh. And then there's umbrella codes to like go in the middle of it. That is so freaking cool. It looks like 3D like that. What? Put an umbrella code. And the black cats. Oh, the black cats. Put an umbrella code behind the standees. That's what they're called. I couldn't figure out what they were called earlier. That is so clever. Oh, we have little, we have little cherry blossom egg day moment here. Oh my goodness, diagonal bridge. Is that the creator's house? Is that the creator's house or is that a villager's house? That's a villager's house. Wait, this ain't where Pudge lives, is it? Does Pudge, who lives here? Hello? Hello? Cannot see. I want to know who lives here. I don't know if this is like a special house or what. But it's really cool looking with the gazebos, you know? So I want to see what villager lives here. We are at the Casa de um, Tasha. Oh, okay. Oh, it's really cute. I really like the gazebos on either side like that. And what are these codes right here? Are these like special mushrooms? or cabbages or something. Ooh, this is amazing. This is beautiful. What is the ticket? Oh, the dream bell ticket. What is that doing? Wow, there is so many like centerpiece, beautiful spots here. I love this with the lanterns all around. Gotta love a black mush parasol as well. All of these standy codes though, so good to look like the fencing. And then what is this little area right here? Oh, it's fortune telling. It's a little, I cannot talk. It's a little Katrina area and a mirror. Oh, this is so cool. That's awesome. And these are all like little parts of villager yards, man. It never ceases to amaze me like how much people can fit onto their islands and all these amazing different areas. This is actually one of the places that I really liked the most. I want to take a photo here, but I have to go like back in front. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I don't know. I cannot go that way. It's blocked off. Okay, this is perfect. Yes, right here. I really like this ruined arch crescent moon moment right here i think this is super cool except for let's go like maybe more like this is better yes because i love the purple area and then the orange area okay so i already saw the beach right there's more of the island yet to see i know that we are not done so let's keep going shall we back around did I go across this bridge? Oh yes, I think I did because this is, oh, I didn't see this villager yard. 
this is one of the fairies in power. Ah, yes. And then they have like a little villager area. This is so pretty though. You're evil, but you're pretty. Looks can be deceiving, you know. Oh, it's a nice, like it's a whole villager yard. And this is like one of their little gazebo centerpieces. Gotta love those gazebos. This villager is selling some candies. Oh, I like this pergola looking out onto the rocks. Oh, this is a romantic little area. That custom code standee is also so beautiful. Wow. That's so pretty, this little ranch seating area. So pretty. I don't think I went up that ramp. Wow, there's a lot to see. I didn't come to this part of the beach on the ferry portion of the island. Little surf shop, I see. Little smoothie, little beach smoothie moment. Okay, getting to get some snacks, some drinks. Just chill on the beach here. Yes, and look out onto the beach. Thank you very much. I'm going to go up that ramp that I saw. I love the we're open sign for this island. It's like so many bright colors. Oh, and then we can come up here. Ah, I see I missed it. Okay, we were already here, so I'm gonna go back. Whoa, I love this potion area. I love this secret beach. I love this secret beach. Holy shamoli. Why am I saying something as dorky as holy shimoles? But look at it. Oh, the pop of pink in the suspicious cauldron and all of the dark in the black, like brick code. Oh, and the black flower code. Oh, we have like a black raisin. We have another umbrella code with the cauldron. Oh, I love this. I love this. Whoa, what is this? A little swirling vortex. Oh, I think we found the creator's house. Yes, look at this. This is so cool. She is a witch. She is a witch. Look at the kitty cats. Oh, I'm so in love with the witch part of the island. So in love with it. Oh my God gosh and the butterflies <gasps> and the black kitty cats y'all i'm freaking out i'm freaking out i feel like i'm getting so much inspo but also oh the candy but also like i need to have a witch island i need to have a um halloween island now y'all these cube lights the custom code on these cube lights looks amazing we're mining some purple gems. We've got some interesting galaxy wave kind of things. Oh, there's a ramp. Oh, there's a ramp. Okay, I'll be back. I'll be back, but I want to check out this whole beach, and then I'm so excited to go in the house. Yes. Okay, and then this part, we were already here. Can't wait to go in the house. Let's do it. Let's go in the house. And let's check out these interiors, y'all. And then we'll go back and do a once over and make sure we didn't miss any parts of the island. Ooh. Spooky, spooky, symmetry, symmetry. Yes. I will sit and I will gaze at the moon. Oh my goodness. And the purple lighting and the cobwebs on the wall you know we love to see it you know we love to see it all right let's go in all the rooms y'all under the magic circle it's a magical moon with mystical powers Ooh, yes i will take bath in here Yes, I will. Drop socks. Very nice touch. Tea. Yes. Oh, I love this wall. I still don't have this wall. My goodness gracious. It looks so cool for a bathroom. I love it. Ooh. Some witchy flowers. Oh my gosh, the centipede toy on the ground. 
Oh my gosh, the gyroids. The gyroids, the tent, the well. I love this. The tulip surprise box is perfect. This is really, really cool. And the drop maple leaves. What a nice touch. That's a really cool room. All right, to the left. To the left we go. Oh, this is the kitchen. This is where we're making some potions. But also some food, I suppose. Even witches gotta eat. These custom codes, though. I wonder how long it took the creator to hunt down all of these amazing codes. That is so beautiful, rustic, witchy, and aesthetic. Oh my gosh. Okay, I cannot wait to go upstairs now. Ooh, the bedroom. Oh, but also the study. Always studying new spells, the witches are. But will they get it in time for the ritual? Ooh, the mushroom in the display case. Oh, that's the mushroom wand, right? Love that. Oh my goodness. That's a really good witch's bedroom. I love this. Okay, basement. Basement. Yes. Oh, I love the green so much. This looks like another... Oh, it's the graveyard wall. Ooh, the graveyard wall with the green and the castle items kind of covering them up. That's so cool. We're making some spells. We're making some potions in here. I love this green. Okay, we need to definitely take a photo here. This is so cool. With the graveyard wall. I just love it. Oh my goodness. All right, I'm going to do let me do maybe like a tada, make it look like I'm making some spells or something. I cannot. I cannot. Oh, get in the right spot. There we go. Here, I'll just face. I love this dreamy patchet though. I want this IRL. All right, I'm gonna make some spells. Yes. So cool. Yeah, maybe this is better going up so you can really see. That graveyard wall in green though. All right, y'all, I'm gonna go out. You gotta go to the island yourself to make sure that you see everything, everything, everything. Like, see, I didn't really notice this little purple candle area. Candle candy area but there is the orange candy area on the other side so you know go to the dream address yourself because seeing it in person is really different so if i do an island tour that really kind of like strikes you of like oh i really liked that island i really want to do an island like this this is why i do a lot of different island tours you know because everyone you know me you might not know what you're inspired by so anyways go to the island yo sailed and you might see things that teresa missed because teresa misses a lot of things all right i'm gonna shush i'm gonna check back up with you when i get back to resident services see i already think that i kind of missed this area right here this little centerpiece of the villager area and this is really really cool and also symmetry all right, y'all, let me know in the comments below what did you think of this island tour? I thought it was amazing. I, like I said, I hope I got every part of the island. I'm not sure if I did or not. I always get lost, but I loved, loved the storyline. I loved the two contrasting ports, portions, parts, portions of the island. It was so, so cool. Thank you, Sam, for having us. This was so, so exciting and so surprising to see the different like sections and the creativity of all of it and the color schemes. I just absolutely, absolutely loved it. So thank you, Sam, for having us. I will see you guys in the next one. Have a lovely time zone and goodbye.